Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at Batman ROM version 1.3 for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So I know that this ROM has been out for almost 10 days now but I've been using it and uh, just wanted to uh, tell you everything that uh, I learned about it in the couple of days I've been using it. So uh, first off, let's uh, go straight to the settings application and take a look at the software information. So this ROM, uh, nothing new over here, it's based on Android 7.0 with Samsung Experience version 8.1 with the latest 1st of August uh, Android security patch and I'm using it with uh, so far my favorite Moro kernel version 1.9 which for me uh, has uh, the best uh, battery life and uh, smoothness so far. So right now let's go straight to Batman settings uh, application. So this is the ROM control application of uh, this ROM. So first off you have... Uh, the donation uh, package if you want to donate to the developers. Next off, you have system UI settings. So first off, battery, you have a battery bar over here on the top. So you can see that I got my battery over here. You can change the thickness of this bar and uh, everything you can see over here, also its color. Also, you can have your battery uh, visible, but this uh, requires a system UI. So it just basically removes uh, the icon over here. So uh, nothing uh, really interesting here. Also, you have three minute battery and uh, at what percentage you want to get uh, the battery warnings for low battery and uh, for critical battery. So next off, you got clock settings. So over here, you have three minute clock. Also, where you want uh, your clock to be positioned. And if you want uh, to tap uh, on the clock over here to have a certain app uh, shortcut. Also, you can uh, show hide it and uh, all those stuff you can see over here. You can change its size, font and uh, everything you can see over here. Something really cool in this ROM, which uh, I haven't seen in others, is uh, the possibility, two possibilities to change uh, from LTE to 4G. And uh, the next thing is uh, custom icons for, for uh, let me just take a look, for the signal bar. Uh, also for uh, a single bar, signal bar if you have a second SIM card, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi arrows and uh, an alarm clock. So uh, this is uh, something really nice which uh, you can change over here. So for example, you can see the Wi-Fi ones. So uh, right now I'm going to change it uh, to this one, for example, because system UI is uh, restarting uh, pretty fast. So uh, now let's take a look and uh, you can see my how my uh, Wi-Fi looks like, which is uh, something uh, really cool you can change. Next off, you have walk screen mods. Over here, walk screen ro ro uh, rotation, and uh, you can see all of those stuff. So uh, this is, uh, if you uh, turn this on, you can see that uh, when your phone is locked, let me uh, just let it restart. You can see without that, without uh, pressing the key, the fingerprint scanner is working. But sometimes when the phone uh, is going to deep sleep, um, this uh, will not wor be working. Also, we have walk screen notifications number, so you can change the number of the notifications on the walk screen. Navigation bar, I don't have it enabled because uh, I'm not using it, but you can see uh, its options. Next off, you have recent panels, also you have bore and AOKP uh, RAM bar. So, uh, wait, so I've made a mistake. So you can see over here what uh, how much of your RAM is being used and also free. This is something also I don't care, so... Uh, I'm not uh, using it and also matrix animation in recent so let me just show that off so yeah you can see over here how uh, this is the matrix animation which is something I'm not going to use again volume button shortcuts so you can uh, skip music while screen is off by pressing and holding uh, over here so I have a whole video about that it will pop up right now on the top right corner so be sure to check it out about uh, this section over here I know that you're going to like it because it's really cool. Also, you have uh, those uh, settings for recent and back keys. So I'm uh, going to go a little bit faster through those over here. So if you want to take a look at some, you just pause the video. And uh, you have also data usage and uh, those things over here. So uh, next off, oops. So next off over here, you have phone settings to record automatically incoming and outgoing. Calls. Also, we have uh, the toggles over here, which one you want. So I want uh, only those three. That's why it's uh, like that. Next off, you have uh, also you can change the background of the reboot menu. Next off, notification panel. Again, pause the video if you want to take a look at uh, something 
you can uh, over here single swipe on the right to open the menu so let me just uh, tap on the auto focus button so that we don't have uh, this problem so if you swipe from the right you can see that I straight uh, am opening to the shortcuts but this is again something I'm uh, not going to use so uh, you can see all of those uh, stuff over here if you want just pause the video once again pull down menu covers can be changed also GIF animation so you can have uh, a GIF animation over here GIF or GIF <laughs> it's up to you notification panel background is something um, I'm not going to use and uh, also you can have device info when you swipe down this device info and uh, probably a lot more so uh, next off uh, you have the carrier label visibility and uh, reboot view visibility next off after that is our app shortcuts and basically this is it uh, in the ROM control application also in motor settings you have double tap gesture um, but I've installed uh, another version because uh, this one was uh, the one that comes with the ROM does not support this swipe gesture which comes uh, with the latest uh, version which was uh, with the latest update which Samsung pushed a couple of days ago something I really like so if you wanted to uh, make that work just hold on go to home screen settings and turn this on over here this is uh, on all devices S7 and S8 it's working basically on every device that you can uh, put the launcher on so uh, this ROM has been uh, really smooth and uh, I like uh, the way it's been working so right now I'm going to the battery section so uh, okay, over here you can see I have 72% and uh, I've been using the phone for almost 5 hours with 1 hour and 11 minutes of uh, screen on time so uh, again all credits tomorrow kernel over here and uh, also you have S power planning to reserve battery for calls you can just pause and take a look at uh, what's over here also extend battery time but uh, this will start uh, working after it's, uh, it uh, warns your uh, usage pattern so uh, I just uh, had to reinstall the ROM that's why uh, it's not uh, weren't mine probably a day and a half ago and also forward calls when uh, your battery dies so that when someone calls you someone else's phone is going to uh, pick up so uh, I have uh, uh, the always sleeping applications for me are almost all turned on without Viber and Messenger so yeah that's right and uh, it just doesn't stop notifications so uh, just right before this video I received a notification from Telegram uh, the morning uh, today I also got uh, one from Facebook so basically I don't know it saves battery I don't know how but uh, it kind of uh, puts into some type of uh, hibernation the the phone the application basically so uh, the ROM is uh, working perfectly fine just uh, go ahead and install it it's uh, worth it everything is uh, working uh, amazingly so uh, be sure to click the subscribe button and uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.